What's up everybody? Andrew Presnell here, Team Discraft member. I'm going to be showing you my review of the Upper Park Disc Golf Rebel Backpack. So I'm brand new to Upper Park for 2021. Uh, they approached me at the end of the 2020, asked if I wanted to be on the team, and I had never used an Upper Park Disc Golf bag before, but I contacted a couple of their current members on their team and they all had really, really good things to say. So uh, everything they said convinced me to go for it. And so I'm happy to be on the team for 2021 and I'm going to be giving you my review of the bag. So let's just, uh, we're gonna go kind of side by side and I'll give you all the features of the bag, everything it has to offer. And let's start with the most important part, the front. So. I have 25 discs stored in the bag right now. I have 19 stored horizontally, six stored vertically. I feel like 25 discs is a really good amount of discs for any course. Not too many, not too few. You can tackle any course. Uh, the horizontal shelves, easy to get discs in and out. Um, you know, you never really know with the horizontal storage if they're going to get stuck or whatever, but. All the discs, whether you know they're on the, the corners here or the middle, they all come out really, really easy. No problems there. Also in the front, there's two side sleeves, maybe the score store, a scorecard, or maybe a sports sack. Anything little, you know, you, you have those extra sleeves right here to store some stuff. Moving on to the sides. So we have a big storage pocket on this side, easily fit a hoodie, a uh, jacket if you need to take anything off during your round. It actually even is big enough to store more discs and zip up. So you could fit an extra maybe six discs uh, if you really wanted to, but I don't think you're going to need to. On the inside there is a small pocket there and then there's a mesh pocket for maybe your keys, wallet, phone whatever you take with you out on the course when you're playing. And there's also a uh, spot for an umbrella, two Velcro straps here, and there's a smaller pocket right here for really anything that you could think of. Moving to the back. Everybody says these bags are comfortable, and I would agree with them. So you have two of these wide, thick backpack straps really gonna distribute the weight of the bag onto your back. And then you have all this padding, all these cushions for your back as well. So it really doesn't feel like you're carrying 25, 27 discs, whatever you have. Um, really, really comfortable design. Uh, very impressed with that as well. And then you have two of the water bottle holders, one on each side. You know, this is a 32 ounce, metal water bottle fits in there nice and snug real easy moving on to this side basically same as the other side just without the velcro straps for the umbrella you have your uh, side pocket big enough to fit you know clothing discs whatever and you have this pocket down here and then this one also has a small pocket here for sharpie pencil whatever Let's look at the bottom. So the bottom has a weatherproof material, uh, definitely waterproof, feels really, really durable, so you're not gonna tear it on some rocks or the ground, and it has five feet to keep the bag uh, nice and upright during your round. It's not, not gonna be tipping over on you, so that's important. And yeah, I can tell this thing is made of Quality material, real sturdy base. Yeah, should sit up really, really easy and effortless. Let's look at the top of the bag. It has a carrying strap here, which is actually really comfortable. The bag does sit kind of tall, so whenever I'm bending down to pick it up, I barely even have to bend down. I just grab it, you know, by the, the handle and swing it up on my back, which is really nice. And then there's also a spot for your mini or, you know, whatever you could fit in there. Scorecard, anything thin, snacks. But yeah, um, 
Let's see what it looks like zipped up. So it does have a flap. Right now I have the flap tucked in. And if we just untuck the flap here, it comes up and zips just like that. So easy, uh, easy way to keep your disc safe if you're traveling, just zip it up. They're not gonna fall out. And the front even has this nice kind of microfiber pocket in here. Um, not sure what you could put in there, but you know it's another spot for storage. And when you're ready to play, just unzip it all the way down, roll it up, and you tuck it in there. Or it does have this front flap that I've seen people tuck it in before. Um, but I always tuck it on the inside of the bag but I've also seen people do that. I just like going the other direction. But yeah, I've played one round with it and it did really well. I uh, haven't got a chance to play more rounds yet, but you know, as far as the aesthetic and how it performs visually and holding my discs, it performs really, really good. I'm excited to use this bag for the 2021 season um, if you're interested in buying one, you can go to UpperParkDiscGolf.com and I have a discount code you can use at the checkout, PREZ10, and it'll get you 10% off your order of a bag. doesn't have to be a Rebel, they have other options, but uh, I think the Rebel is my personal favorite. They have three color options, so give them a, give them a look on their website, you might uh, end up buying some. So, thanks for watching, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section. I try to get to everybody's comment. I try to answer questions. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, you know I appreciate it. Appreciate you for watching. Keep an eye out for me for the 2021 season, and I'll see you guys on the road.